When we're talking about longevity, we focus a lot on cardiovascular health, but my bias and what I see is that people decline rapidly as their ability to be functionally active goes down. Mm -hmm. And that that then sort of uncovers other problems that they have and, and compounds them. So there's a phenomenon called sarcopenia of aging, which is basically where muscle decreases over time. And I see it on people's MRI. So I treat people who have trouble, you know, walking and, you know, as a result of nerves being compressed. But we get a lot of, you know, back pain, neck pain, even, you know, nerve-related pain secondary to metabolic disease. It's not uncommon for people to Metabolic be, disease, you mean like what? Like diabetes, type 2 diabetes, yeah. right? So it's not uncommon for people to actually be diagnosed with diabetic neuropathy before they're diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. That means there's nerve damage from blood sugar. It, exactly, and it can damage tendons and things like that. So people get a frozen shoulder or they'll get their iliotibial band and it, it, it which is the big long fiber span that runs along your leg, so they'll have pain when they're walking. And so for me, when I'm looking at this question about longevity, all of these things matter, but my perspective on it is how do I keep people moving and act active as long as possible? And yeah. how do we use diet for that? So one of the benefits that I see, you know, when I put a patient on a so wait, wait, diet. Wait, wait, yeah. so, so people have to understand that your diet plays a big role in the amount of muscle and or fat that you have or don't have. And degenerative changes.